Today I'm going to show you how to create this section of this bottle where the rounded shape meets this kind of squared or octagonal shape. So let's get started in Blender. First I am going to insert our reference image. I am using the numpad keys and preferences. Go to add image reference. And I'm going to change the opacity of the image here in the sidebar, this image icon. And we're going to turn on opacity and do 0.2 for 20%. I'm going to use this cube that already exists in the startup. And let's go ahead and scale it down. And we're going to select this top face and using G to grab it and Z to keep it aligned. With that face still selected, I'm going to do an extrude on the Z axis and we're going to scale that slightly and extrude again. Next, we're going to create this rounded shape. And I'm going to add an object mode circle and let's scale and move that to the narrowest part and the largest part, widest part. You can duplicate this with shift D as long as you're in object mode. Shift D again on the Z axis and scale S. Now in order to bridge these loops, they are separate circles right now. I'm going to need to select all of those and do command J to join them, which is also under object join. And now they are one shape in edit mode. We're going to go to edge bridge edge loops and in this little flyout editing menu we're going to increase the cuts and work on the profile to round it more you can see this is on smooth you can kind of play around with these and the number of cuts as well now with the cube shape I'm going to go into edit mode now with our cube shape, we want to select all of these edges, not the horizontal ones, just the vertical. So let's get into edge selection. I'm holding down option and shift to select each of these. And now we're going to want to create our bevel. So you can go to the bevel icon. And I'm just estimating here. It is going to bring up a flyout menu so you can adjust this. And if you wanted segments, this in particular, we don't need additional segments. And you can also change the width here. Once you set this, you will not be able to edit it. So that's looking pretty good to me. Next, we're going to need to combine both of these shapes. So as we did with the circles, I'm going to select both objects, not the image. Now we're going to do a command J to join them as one shape. I'm going to go ahead and delete this edge face. We hit X on the keyboard for that delete face. And now we need to select the bottom and the top. And we're going to go to Edge, Bridge Edge Loops. And here we're going to add the cuts again and play with the profile. And see as I change the smoothness, it does look a little better here. Okay. 
So go ahead and play with that until you are happy with the result. Next, I'm going to smooth out this. There's kind of a crease here. So I'm going to select that edge. Actually, since we've bridged these, we've lost our capability to select the continuous loop. So make sure X-ray is on and your box selection is fine. I'm going to select that edge and go to, you can see how it's all around selected. We're going to do a bevel on this. And you can add more segments. All right, that looks good to me. Next, we need to smooth out this transition. I'm going to do a bevel again. We've got an object mode. We're getting much closer now. We do want some smoothness here. However, we do not want these edges to be as smooth. So in edit mode again, with the x-ray turned on, we are going to smooth these with, with face shade smooth. And we can add some slight smoothness to each of these if we need to just slightly All right in object mode this is looking really good I do kind of want to smooth out this transition a little bit more. So I'm going to select you can look what, at what the whole object looks like. Smooth. It might be a bit much if you want to keep some of the edge look. If you want these to be a little bit smoother, you can select each of these sides. It's not quite so harsh. And we're going to add a bevel. We're still on the bevel tool. And I'm just going to make this ever so slight. And that way we can do a shade smooth. All right, with the object selected, we're going to want to add some thickness to the walls. So go to your modifiers panel, this wrench, add modifier. We want solidify. And here we're going to increase the thickness. If you have a specific thickness, you can type that in. I'm just estimating here visually. So with that selected, we're going to go to File, Export, Wavefront OBJ. And we want Limit to Selection Only, Export. And with Dimension Open, we're going to drag and drop our object. Set it to the ground. And something I like to do before I start adding materials is go to Object, Generate UVs. And let's add the glass material. And I do have an amber color saved in my assets.
So I've saved that by going to base color. And once I sampled what I liked, I did a save to library. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.